In the previous lesson, we successfully connected to our MySQL database using PDO. Then we deliberately introduced errors into the connection parameters and found that informative messages are returned to the browser as to exactly where the problem lies. This is useful at the development stage as it tells us what's wrong, but in production we want to hide this sensitive information and return instead a friendly custom message which simply says that something's wrong without saying what. We do this using try and catch. Enclose the PDO connection and the var dump of $DB in a try clause. And then make the catch clause. Every try clause needs a matching catch clause. And in its parentheses, catch needs exception and an object to store information about the error with no comma between them. The object name can be anything but $E is traditional. Now we can decide what we want to do with this object $E. We can, if we want, ignore it completely and instead just echo out a friendly custom message with no information at all about what's actually gone wrong. For instance, echo an error has occurred. And we can try that in the browser. Or, if we want, probably for debugging purposes, we can use $E in full. And this again will tell us exactly what's wrong with the connection. Or, for a shorter, neater message, we can use $E get message instead of the whole object. Details of any errors are stored in the file PHP error log in the logs directory of your PHP installation. If there's no problem with the connection in the try clause, then the catch clause will be passed over and the code inside it won't be executed. We'll correct the deliberate error in the connection string and see that that's the case. We could go on about error catching and logging, but I want to keep this tutorial fairly short, as I said, so that we cover useful ground and avoid becoming too encyclopedic in detail. So we've now connected successfully, prevented uncontrolled error messages, and seen where errors are logged in PHP. So that's enough on that for the moment. We'll move on now to the next more interesting topic, getting data out of our database and displaying it in the browser.